Well, hi, this is Jay Arthur, and welcome to Spaghetti Diagramming. Spaghetti Diagramming is a little bit different from value stream mapping. Spaghetti Diagram, you're really showing the layout of a workspace and where the machines are and where the access points are and how much stuff travels around. And I'd like to give you a little example. I worked with a hospital laboratory. They had about 2,400 square feet, and they were having to get in trouble getting all the samples through in a timely fashion. And oddly enough, their phlebotomists, the people working in the lab, were traveling somewhere on the order of two and a half to five miles a day. So all you do is lay out where things are. Well, samples come in through the door, the front door. There's also a pneumatic tube that was just off the side. It was actually in a separate room. There's a thing called a blood bank. This is where they keep blood for transfusions. And then they have the, the microprocessing here. The emergency room was actually sitting over here. They had coagulation and urinary analysis. And then they had chemistry and, and hematology down here. And so this was the physical layout of this 2,400 square foot area. And then you start drawing where does the where does all the stuff travel to? So from the tube, it comes in here and over there and over there and over here and on down there. And this sometimes goes over there. And then this one does the same thing. And there's actually a little, little space in here where they actually logged all this stuff in, but I left that out of the picture. And then the next thing you do is you come in and say, well, how often do we use that? I forgot one more. Blood bank goes to emergency. Well, the blood bank, maybe 24 times a day, goes to emergency. But you can see it's a little bit far from the emergency room. It makes no sense. And micro, they might do that 100 times a day. Coag, I think, was uh, 60. UA was 80. But hematology and chemistry were 500 each. Now you can see we got the highest volume things the furthest away from where they come in at. And when we laid it out like this, they all said, boy, that's kind of stupid, isn't it? I said, yeah. I said, so how would you redesign this? And they said, well, first, let's move the blood bank over here closer to emergency so we can get to it. Let's move uh, hematology and everything up here like this. Let's move chemist coag to the back or... Um, or micro back here, or UA over here, or whatever. Let's move these things so that they're, everything's closer to where it's supposed to go. And we found when we did that, we reduced the movement of people and samples and improved processing time. We reduced the total travel time by uh, probably 60% in this lab and reduced delays of samples and testing and everything else by probably seven, eight hours a day. Right? And then I think they actually moved this up here, and then they have a space down here. We actually saved 400 square feet. So that's spaghetti diagramming. And when you do this, you can very quickly determine how to reorganize a workspace to make it more efficient, faster, fewer defects, all of those kinds of things. And that's what the power of spaghetti diagramming can do for your business.